Okay, describing how nucleophilic substitution in haloalkanes changes with the halogen. Alrighty, so here's the generic equation. I have a haloalkane and I'm adding hydroxide. And it's a substitution reaction. They swap over. And X can be any halogen. Alright, there are two factors gov governing uh, how fast this reaction will occur. There's bond polarity specifically the carbon and halogen bond, and the strength of this bond as well, or the bond energy of that very same carbon-halogen bond. All right, let's take these one at a time. I'm going to draw this table out super fast. So we'll just look at the four halogens in order, going down the group. You can see, uh, for comparison, we have a carbon fluorine and a carbon iodine bond. Uh, the difference in electronegativity between carbon and fluorine is rather larger than the difference than between carbon and iodine. So since the difference in carbon and fluorine is a larger difference, that's got a large dipole and a smaller one consequently for the carbon iodide. So where will an OH minus, where will a hydroxide go? What's the most positive thing it can go to? Well, it's more likely to go towards the carbon attached to the fluorine. It has a greater dipole. So that's going to be a faster reaction with the fluorine. Now, looking at bond energy, you can see there's a trend. The bonds get weaker as you go down the halogens. So once again, let's take carbon and fluorine and carbon and iodine. Well, before, the fluorine was the more reactive one. Uh, but now it's actually got the stronger bond, so that's now the least reactive one. And vice versa, the carbon iodide bond is now a lot weaker and easier to break. So there's two competing factors here. So which of these two equal, uh, perhaps equal and opposite factors uh, dominate? Well, they're not equal. A bond energy is by far the more dominant factor. So that means the iodo alkane will react faster than the fluoro one because the bonds in iodo in iota alkanes are weaker. Even though fluoroalkanes have the more polar bond and you'd think the OH minus would be more attracted to it. 